love it or leave it. Italian Renaissance sculptor, painter, architect, and poet, it's Michelangelo. <laughs> it's me, Michelangelo. <laughs> All right. Woohoo! <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hi, Michelangelo. Wow. Just hearing your voice, it's like stepping into history. The Renaissance is alive before our very eyes. Oh, it's uh, my pleasure, John. <laughs> I'm taking a break from painting the hunky boys on some rich asshole ceiling to come here. It's a nice. <laughs> so great of you to come here when I know you have so much on your plate. Sculptor, painter, architect, and poet. Michelangelo, come on, how do you still, how do you get it all done? Como se dice, uh, a multi hyphen it. Uh, John Hustler culture, yes. Hashtag rise and grind. Woohoo! Sounds a little bit toxic. I hope you set aside some time for self care at least. Oh, of course. I take a bath every three months. Well, I guess that sounds about right for the 16th century. Uh, it doesn't smell right, though. Anyway, Michael. Oh, watch your mouth. Okay, apologies. You're right. Are you right? Sorry. Uh, Michelangelo, I'm sure you've heard about this Florida school's reaction to your work. At least one parent called your iconic David statue pornographic. Your thoughts? Oh, he's so ridiculous, John. This is David. He's a shepherd boy. He has no money. That was Jamaican. He has no money <laughs> for pants. Okay. <laughs> and besides, I make his peepee so small. What's the big deal? So much a silly fuss about a little peepee, John. It's... <laughs> It's such a little pee-pee, and that's a great point. But also, it's a timeless work of art. It makes no sense to get mad about kids seeing pictures of art when they're learning about art, right, Michelangelo? See, if my statue was supposed to make a horny, <laughs> <laughs> you have a no question. John, it would be a huge hunger like a horse. I've made many such porno statues on a commission for wealthiest Nepo babies. <laughs> I spent six years carving the perfect nude twink out of marble, and these Medici <laughs> dumbasses, they jerk off to it like five seconds, and then they're like, okay, when you, will you have a next uh, sexy marble twink? <laughs> just to shoot me, John, just to shoot me. But it's also uh, how you pay the bills, eh? I'm sorry, I just sort of need a second here. I did not know you carved pornographic statues. Mm. This is like fi finding out Shakespeare wrote fanfic. And uh, he did, mostly on the theme of what if catching the plague made the people horny instead of dead? <laughs> hmm. But yes, the David, he is not the one of the, the, the masturbation marbles. No, 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 no. That can't be what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> he is the Bible shepherd boy with the tiny little pee pee. <laughs> These are parents, if they find him so sexy, it says more about them, no? Absolutely, but the thing is, Michelangelo, this is part of a much larger dark trend. Right-wing creeps are attacking public education, threatening gay teachers and queer kids to inflict their regressive worldview on everybody else. Oh, but th I am not the gay. <laughs> well, okay, I, I wasn't saying you were, but also, uh, are you sure about that? Oh, what's a gay about painting a hundreds of ripped, beautiful, naked men? I paint, I sculpt the women's too. Is it not a difficult? You make a big, a strong man like a usual, big bulging muscles, and then you add the tits. <laughs> Just two juicy cantaloupes right on top, bingo bongo, easy peasy. You just added the tits. <laughs> That's all you do. Just out of the tits. My bad. I can tell you've definitely looked at women. You've really studied and admired oh, them. Oh, I have seen them around, yes. <laughs> okay, so uh, I guess my question is, how does it feel to see your work turned into a weapon in this culture war? Conservative leaders are banning books and creating an environment where their supporters harass teachers and try to censor important works of art. You must be pissed. Oh, it's a no good, John. These are virgin parents. They, they all want the child to be a stupid doll. <laughs> In a Florence, if you are a child, you, who knows best? They appelt you with balls of mozzarella. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, this is Ron DeSantis. He is not a real Italiano. Can you picture him eating a slice of prosciutto in the front of the fridge with a no shirt on? Can you, John? I really can't. <laughs> you can't. Here is what I think of this Ron DeSantis. Ha! 
I will say. <laughs> I wow. didn't want to spit for yeah, real. Yeah, it was really good. It felt, like, it felt real for people at home. I will say, if that's the metric, it turns out I'm Italian. Uh, so, so that's exciting. Is there anything else you'd like to say to these Florida parents? Yes. I will just uh, say this. Suck on my dick, you loser freaks. I sculpted the David before I turned 30. At least that's according to my Wikipedia. And what have you Swamp Hicks sculpted? Nothing. You make a nothing art, or beauty, or love. Shut the fuck up. And if I ever see you in Italia, I will rip the gelato from your fascist hands. What the barbarians didn't do, the Floridians will do for them. I want you to know, that, that's a reference for no one. <laughs> also, you don't, even, you don't even know about the Barberinis. That's after your time. Uh, you suck at my dick too, you loser freak. Okay. <laughs> well, didn't you also write a bunch of homoerotic sonnets to a 23-year-old Roman guy about how you wanted to be his clothes so you could wrap around his body? That's pretty gay. Uh, it's not so interesting to me to discuss uh, me sexuality in public, John. Okay, Harry Styles. <laughs> it's not so, so simple. On uh, the one end, you have a men with their uh, perfect jacked bodies and bigger hands and... Sexy voices who I, uh, you think about all the time. On the other hand, women who are exactly the same, but with the big bazongas, John. Okay, yeah, sounds pretty complicated. Italian Renaissance sculptor Michelangelo, everyone. Thank you, John. <laughs> See you at Akbar later. Yeah. Woohoo! Okay, <laughs> Langston Kerman, everybody. Check out his podcast, My Mama Told Me. <laughs> Yeah. Out of the tits.